Um, so if anyone is a blue Tron enjoyer, um, what, <laughs> what is with all the one ofs in the main deck? What? There's no, like, I guess a cat. Oh, I, I mean, I guess with Academy ruins, but like, like this doesn't fetch these things. I mean, it gets you EE or Chalice. Uh, there's no Inventors is fair. Like, what? I, <laughs> it, it almost feels like the Karn wishboard was too big. So it spilled over into the main deck. But, like, there's Shark Typhoon. That can't be, there's only one. There's uh, the, the Ugin. There's only one. Like, I don't know. It's wild. We're going to go play some magic and uh, just, just try to have some fun here. So anyway, I wanted to play Dice Tron or uh, not uh, Dice Factory slash 8 key or Prison Tron today. But uh, I, I'm not feeling mentally great. And those are very demanding decks mentally, so I just don't, uh, I don't feel like putting myself through that. So I'm not gonna. I'm not going to. Uh, Trellin is finishing an amazing game against Rhinos. Flawless victory. Uh, easy mulligan. Yeah, that's a keep. Temple Garden. Teething Wormlet. Oh, my opponent's about to go to such infinite life. I'm going to guess that my opponent is playing Heliod combo. I would say I don't have enough time. There has not been enough time in this game or League, Jen and I, to determine whether or not we're winning Sun or otherwise. I'm guessing they're playing Scam. Yeah, probably. Classic Red Black. Leads on Teething Wormlet, Mishra's Babble. Am I winning at life? Not today. Today, I felt like life was beating me up. I went for a really great run last night, I, I guess. Like, uh, after the after the stream, and I went and watched Jeopardy. Whoa. Okay. These guys are getting big. All right, well, if they're playing Mill, like, we have an Emrakul. All right, I need to... I need to stop them from killing me. But, uh... At the moment, I'm not really able to do that particularly well. I know, I need to stop dying. Quit dying, you cowards! Okay. It's a little late. I guess I'll use... Oh, no, because they have Skrelv. <laughs> Brutal. We need to find the one of EE. I can do that with map into Teleria West into... Yeah. Okay. Choose a color, another target. Oh, so you can bounce and then dismember. So I'll take four to take two. But then I'm letting the Safi resolve. 
So I guess I'm condescending Safi this turn. We'll see. Okay. Not an artifact. That is an artifact. Or spike. Hmm. Yeah, go bottom, bottom. If they attack with all, then I get to kill this wormlet. That actually is a gain. No, they didn't. <laughs> good, good. Skrelv is color. This is not a color. Okay. Yeah, it is colorless, exactly. That, are they, they're really not going for lethal just to keep Skrelv up. That seems... Seems a touch loose. I've always been on the dark side, Boosh. I'll be right back, and then we'll try to figure out this game. Might just be dead, which is fine. So, if I use the island and the Urza's mine to crack the map, no, I think I have to. I think the only way out here is repeal the Skrelv. And then I have to rip into the EE. <clears throat> Think that's literally the only way here. But that lets them rep but that's why I have to draw into the EE anyway. So otherwise I could go island and mine to E to map. And then uh, we finish Tron, and then I can play the Thirst for Knowledge and have three colorless mana. Hmm. 
There's nothing in the main deck that does enough with three colorless mana. No. Uh, that could mean might be able to live at one. We'll see if they play the Skrelv, then the Wormlets grow, and then I die. Dismember is too much damage here. Just going to combat. Okay, I do get to live through this at one. Assuming they have no other interaction, which they probably do. I'm going to one. One is not none. You're not wrong. So... I could upkeep fetch. Yeah, I think that's right. This can get me the Teleria West, but then I can't transmute it. What else does it get me? Blast zone, but that's not fast enough either. So I think we just have to play thirst. And I can Karn for something that costs two, which is really close, but not good enough. This is so close. Okay. GG, go game two. Okay, so I think I like all this stuff. Staying in the sideboard? No, I want the E in the main deck. Second E. Um, probably not a great Chalice matchup. Not a great Leveler matchup. Bring in Relic? <clears throat> is it a seize matchup i don't think so <clears throat> i think that's pretty much like they don't have any utility lands I, I guess i could use it to just like color deny them like they had a pretty small number of lands that game so like a spreading seize or two sometimes just like locks someone out of a game Probably not a good remand matchup, right? So I guess we could play C's rather than remand, especially on the play. And just see. Yeah. I don't hate that. I don't really know what their deck's doing. Someone mentioned some kind of combo nonsense. I think I'll keep this. 
Someone mentioned some kind of combo nonsense that sounded wild, uh, which I'm okay with. Um, I'm not okay with it. Well, it's too, da too goddamn bad. What's the... Um, I forget that. I forget the joke that I'm thinking of where it's like, well, you got a lot of nerve, mister. Oh, that's, uh, it's Lionel Hutz. Oh, no, it's Troy McClure. It's Troy McClure. Troy. You might be saying to me, I've seen every uh, clip of The Simpsons that you, there's ever been. There's nothing you can't show me. Well, you got some attitude, mister. Blue Trot never loses. Last game was a fluke. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't the deck. It was me. I lost. Okay. So they're teething. So this cuts them playing Saffy. Mm -hmm. I'd really like to draw a land. This is 24 land deck, so we actually have a pretty good shot. One land, please. One land. Oof. Okay. Thank you. Hold on, Chad. I'm going to do it again. Genius Smith. I love that card. Freaking love that card. I love this card. Your deck has such wonderfully low power level cards, opponent. I, I'm so enthused. Did I see the new fact or fiction? No. I have seen no preview cards today. But I am a tiny stream that has no <clears throat> impact on the larger community. So feel free to talk to me about Flame of Arnor and why we're going to play Snapcaster Mage with it. We play a deck with four Snapcasters and four Nimble Obstructionists and four Flame of Arnors and whatever else we want because at that point, we're winning. Uh, I'm okay to pass here. They're not doing anything dangerous. Sauron's... Sauron's rans Ransom? Ransom. Sauron's Ransom. Choose an opponent. They look at the top four cards of your library, separate them into a face-down pile and a face-up pile. Put one pile in your hand, the other so you agree the ring tempts you. I think Mord is going to tell me again that game theory-wise, this card is irrelevant and doesn't matter and you just should never... There is no point to it. I'm, I'm trying to remember what happened last time. Uh, that's fine. I'm excited for Mord to ruin my fun again. That's what I'm trying to say here. So I think I'm bouncing the Esper Sentinel this turn. Oh, I forgot to bring in the Eldrazi, didn't I? Oh, I don't have one. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. 
You guys should draw a power plant. I mean, I got two draws coming, so could happen. What the hell? Oh, okay. They're worried about the flash creature. I guess that makes sense. As long as you have Karn, they can't even combo off. Yeah, I just can't really deploy the Karn right now. Troy McClure would draw power, power, power plant. Well, we've got a couple of shots here. Let's try. Hi, I'm Troy McClure. You might remember me from such educational films as 1 minus 2 equals negative fun. That's, uh... That's kind of it, huh? So I spend two and I get two, so we might as well just... <clears throat> Power plant. Uh... <laughs> you wouldn't wear, make a handsome guy like me wear glasses, would you? It'd be a crime against nature. Wait a minute here. It says you need prescriptive lenses. Let's see those glasses on, mister. I love it. I love it. So, hilariously, I cannot Karn for EE because I boarded them in. I guess I dress down here? I like dress down here. Yeah, I mean, having two in the main deck isn't bad, right? Because then you can draw them fast. Faster. I'm not worried. I, I think we just get a giant walking ballista and we can mow down most of their board, right? I don't think. Card for bridge and discard your entire hand under the table while the opponent's not. See now, cheating. That's always the line that I forget. Cheating is always an available out. And I never, I never respect the cheat line. Just cheat. That's. It's not cheating. It's just a loose interpretation of the rules. Also, also it's cheating. All right. So I'm making a, I think it's a 2-2 two -two ballista. I think that's fine because I want to have enough mana to play a counter spell. And I don't have to do it this way. I did. Did not activate Chromatic Star in response. That's Sundering Titan for five, six, seven. Oh, if I hadn't paid, I could have tightened and killed all three of their lands. That was maybe the game, the play. Or I could have O stoned them off the board. Whoops. I would have killed my Karn, though. I can't do it because I I punted here. It's fine. I think we'll be fine. I think I think my original line is reasonable, and that's what we're going to do. You think I'm reasonable? Well, thank you. I've worked hard to become so. That's not actually true. I'm just quoting uh, Princess Bride. Got to, <laughs> stupid wiener kids are listening to me. It's only cheating if someone finds out. That's true. That's the way it works. Force of Vigor. Oh, I counter this? I guess so. It means that I'm going to lose my Karn, but I have a backup Karn. All right. Hey, pay two. This many. Thoughts? Emotional responses? See the new Yogg? I've seen nothing. I've seen almost nothing. 
I haven't seen literally nothing, but like you can basically assume I haven't seen it if if we didn't talk about it on the most recent uh Faithless Brewing that I was on. Oh my. Oh my. Well. Stone Stone of Erech. If an opponent, if a creature opponent controls would die, exile instead. Sacrifice stone of Eric, exile target player's graveyard, draw a card. I love that card. Um, I would say that also hits scam, right? Someone was saying there was an anti-scam artifact that was getting printed. That's that's what they were talking about. This is fine. Get out of here. You do. So I'm about to play if I want. Well, if they attack my Karn down here, I should probably just send Ring Titan them right out of this game. That's, yeah, 100% what, what we're going to do. Hello. Uh oh. Blue. Oh sure. Oh, they remember this time. Fat lot of good it'll do ya. Hmm, let's go main phase two in case they wanna try to use this. Cause I don't want them bosejoing my Titan. If they both stage you one of my Tron lands in response, we just cast the Titan. It's fine. And they can't do it during combat. They don't have a legend. Try to activate that portable hold now, opponent. Yeah, exactly. Got him. Hello. If they have Force of Vigor and a zero drop, they can kill me, which is pretty crazy. Okay. Do they have a nature's claim? Am I dead? I'm concerned. Nope. Thank God. I I really <laughs> that that could have been bad. Oh, baby, give your teething wormlet death touch. Do it. Do it. Do it so I can block and blow up your temple garden. Come on. You know you want to. It's the most spectacular thing I could do here. Nothing, right? Yeah, there's nothing crazy to do. I'm just, you know. Uh, I want this for the... Pass the turn. Yeah. That's what I thought. It's 
Maybe... No, I especially feel like I need these in game two. I don't think I need the spreading seas this game. Although it really did slow them down, huh? Like, they keep such low land count hands. Felt like it was really messing with them. All right. So need early removal. I did it. I managed to win a game with Bluetron. The deck that can't lose. Man, not good enough. There we go. So keep this. Bottom Odawara. Karen's in. Exiling one of the power plants. Okay. <clears throat> Look, chat, I'm on the play. So I want to kill us now. Yeah, probably. What did you see? Repeal? Okay. Or if they have a two drop, they'll play it, and I want to hit my land drop next turn. Where's the upheaval? I mean, I'll play uh, an Urza deck with upheaval. I don't know why you'd play it in Blue Tron. <clears throat> hey. Hey. Give me that back. Jerk. You think they're going to play portable hole this turn? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Then what? Nothing, huh? Weird. Oh, come... What? Really? Wild. Veil. Okay. My 23 land... Well, no, we're not dead at all. It's just... Like, I, I figured they shocked for something, but I, I was just, wouldn't think in a million... Wow. Renegade Rallyer without the revolt trigger. You love to see it. There we go. Uh, I'm going to do this during combat anyway, so there's no reason to wait. <clears throat> Because they could always second main phase another portable hole or, or what whatever they're going to do to deal with my map. Their deck is really wild. I assume these have been pretty bad draws for them, right? Okay. Going to 11. 
Oh, for the love. <sighs> ah. This would have just happened on main phase two anyway, so it didn't change anything that I did. There's no way to have the relic in hand for for when that happened. It's just there. Okay. Think. I think I'm discarding two cards here. Gets me Blast Zone, which doesn't save me. Gets me Odawara, which doesn't save me. It doesn't currently get anything that helps. It does get me an island. The island gets me the transmute. The transmute gets me the ballista. Is this three mana to sack? Okay. So in theory, I'm alive. I'll draw for turn. Okay. The most powerful expedition map activation of all time for an island. Gonna be close. Interesting deck. Did not sacrifice to the ravenous squirrel. Makes sense. Yikes. If they hit portable hole, I die. That doesn't kill me. So I think I think it largely doesn't matter if I kill like I don't think staying at 5 rather than going to 2 matters here. I'd rather get rid of the squirrel and the sentinel assuming that this game keeps going. Nothing really matters. Anyone can see. Okay. One or two. Nope. Just dead. Close one. No, just incredibly dead. Got it. I 
a scene on coffers. So they're an eight field deck if they're playing coffers. With thought seizes. I'm going to keep this and just try to draw out. We've got 24 land, so again, should be okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they've got draw step stops. Look at you, Mr. Fancy Pants over there with your draw step stops and your swamp. Ooh, blast zone. Yikes. Oh, boy. Uh, I guess I could have drawn in case I hit the blue, but that's okay. Okay. Mm there we go. Oh, I could have. Oops. Hmm. All right, that's on me. So they Karn here, it's going to be... Well, I suppose they play Karn, and then we can just go Nimble Obstructionist to tack it down. Nothing. Shit. <sighs> That's fine. Okay. Oof. Come on, deck. There we go. Thank you. I don't think I'm interested in jamming a naked car in here. Shit. It doesn't give them any extra mana right now, but... Hmm, good draw. Hmm, not a great draw. I mean, I will be going to da down to hand size. But, uh... So now we know they're on a Shadow of Doubt list. That's good to know. That's a lot of mana now. So they can just cast Karn again. If, if 
I let them have this, they're gonna get the stone brain, right? If I remand it, I'd probably cast Karn again and put Stone Brain in their hand. Jeez. Oh. And invoke me? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, liquid metal to turn off their coffers for a turn. So we're going to try to do. They probably have a March of Wretched Sorrow to blow me out on this, but if they don't. We also just have a second coffers. Would be good enough. But it's possible they don't. And my Karn in play means that look, there's a second coffers, but they can't stone brain me here. So Okay. They have six mana left. Oh, they have so many cards in hand. I think this is over. Uh, I just... Uh, I don't have a reasonable way to get their card off the battlefield at the moment. So I can dump my hand down to six. Get the bridge, play the bridge. But then they can just uh, cityscape level of the bridge and attack. I think we're toast here. I just don't have enough mana, right? Like, And I can't activate anything anymore. That's fine. All right. 
Okay. No thoughtsies is nice. But it would be a real shame if you didn't have an Urborg. Cycle Shadow of Doubt? It float and then do it after the search, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But now they have to find specifically another Urborg. Of course. Of course. How could they not? No, I should have played the second power plant there. Oh, baby. Trailing MTG coming in with the fat raid. Wasn't it? What do you got? What are we playing? Yeah. Uh -huh. And then what? Uh huh. And then what? Seriously? Rude. Take your relic and raise you a relic. You will not find finer Magic the Gathering on Twitch.com at this exact moment. Blast zone, okay. Seven mana. They have five left over? So if they Karn, I'm in trouble. If I remand this, I think I gotta let it. Maze Mind Tome. Yeah, I think this is a good matchup for for coffers. Being the the Tron deck against the eight field deck does not feel great. I think I just want to scry two here. I know I'm bleeding cards like crazy, but I also... I feel like I got to get something going fast. Otherwise, they're just going to overwhelm me. Maybe this is the wrong way to take it. Bottom, bottom. Look, it's like I drew a card. <clears throat> Hey, if only this was a good card. All right, remand. It's all on you, little friend. It's all on you. 
You gotta you gotta buy me a couple turns. No, it's not good enough. This has got turned off. I got two card draws here. That's a good one. That's an X spell. Okay. Sure. That's actually not... That's not good enough to stop Ugin from ultimating the turn after next, so. Oh. Well then. Oh. Okay. Well. So I guess I can Sundering Titan their coffers. Yeah, I have exactly enough. I've already killed two. I mean, I could stone brain their um invoke despairs but potentially they have a uh, other ways to that's uh, pretty hard to but getting the karn in play means that their invoke despair no longer kills my ugin unless they also kill my karn so maybe we just go karn take your karns this locks out their maze mind tome and then I can also play Condescend for an amount. Not much, but... Three? Yeah, three is not nothing. Okay. Let's take it at their cards. Also lets me see their hand. If they had a second coffer, they would have played it, but Urborg they might have in hand. Well, I th think that's a next turn problem. The the thing about coding is it's they play a lot of things that interact with planeswalkers. Not not a ludicrous amount, but like enough. Two cards in hand. Their cast, their curve is even higher than yours is, Trellin. There's six lands, so that's six, seven, eight, nine mana. So hopefully they just. Oh, 10, 11, 11. Okay. So they could just arc on. Just invoke is not good enough. This is phase one. 
Goodbye, by Karn. Now they could maze mine tome. They have six mana remaining. Oh yeah, I mean, you were you were talking about that earlier, and it makes complete sense. These, I mean, this Tron, the, the blue Tron list I'm playing here is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's so okay. Goodbye, my Carnes. I do get a zombie. This shall be your doom. So no more access to Sundering Titan. Might as well. Oh. Well then. Yeah, I can bolt them first, too. I can put them nine. So we go top, top. Five this turn, and then we mind slaver and six, six ballista. Yeah. And then that also gives us a window to. Yeah. Hello. Upstairs. Suppose I could have used Ugin to flip out the cityscape leveler there too. I really don't think it's going to end up mattering. Oh, they're going to gain four life. Hmm. Probably should have activated the Ugin for the flip out seven. Wait, what? Oh, four. Okay, cool. But I can't stop. Oh. Ha. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, I can make them take damage, though. So if I play Castle Lock Thwain, have them draw a card, they take four. Scry one. Oh, that's going to gain them life. But I can't stop this from going off, right? Yeah, I I guess they didn't, Trellin. I guess they didn't. Yeah, okay. Night's Whisper on top. So I can make them lose a bunch of life this turn, huh? Okay. I can blow up their blast zone too. Got eight mana. Draw a card. Cast Knight's Whisper. Draw two cards. Blood Chief's Thirst. Can't use this on Ugin. Just plop the blast zone, tap him down, and pass. 
field, but they, I can't have them use that. Um, now they don't take mana burn because, uh, this is a mind slaver turn. So just, I know chat's going mental about the, how I can kill him with, oh, you can get him with the mana burn, but it doesn't work that way. All right. So I guess we'll flip out a bunch of stuff. So spreading seas is a great grab here. I saw that they have. So I put them into play to. Okay, so I have him dead next turn. So we just pass. Play the map and pass. Yeah. They only have three swamps. Their coffers is not good. And they have another coffers in hand. They have a field of ruins, so they can try to break up my Tron, but I have the map. Pass priority. Get another tower, won't I? Boop. Four, five, six, seven. That's all they got. Seems good for us. Kick it. I don't even need this card now. But uh, they're not doing much more this turn, so whatever. <clears throat> Wake up late for school, man. You don't want to go. Do, 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 do. You ask your mom, please, but she still says no. Do, 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 do. Uh, and just in case of a march, I mean, I can counter a march, but hello. Oh, they're marching, aren't they? Shadow of Doubt. I'd really rather you didn't. Boop. Game the third. All right. Uh. How can you condemn this man without talking to his friends and loved ones? We got the real dirt on the Homer Simpson and the bidding starts at two G's. I mean, I'm going to keep this. It's, uh, it's, it feels a little loose, but then it also feels like maybe this is a really good hand. It's like, oops, all utility lands. Loose as a goose, drunk as a skunk. I'm trying to remember the next line of that song. Great song. It's, um, what's it called? 
Uh, it's only been about a week by X. Uh, it's called The Goose, The Skunk, and The Fly. And it's by... What is the name of that band? Tower of Power. One of the f- funkiest goddamn songs. Will you go ever go back on a cruise? Yeah, I'm going to go back to ships uh, in less than two months. Can I come? So they can't... Okay. Can't shadow of doubt me here. Do I just get another tower? Probably. No, it doesn't make any sense. Start building Tron, make him knock it down. So if I play Karn, and if they have a march, I kind of end up nowhere, huh? I play Karn, they have a march, they have their own Karn. I could play Karn and plus, just to block their... Because getting one in play is big game. I think this makes sense. Just play Karn and plus it. It's like very difficult to for them to remove it. I guess I could kick a Blood Chief's Thirst, but that's going to take their whole turn. Most people have heard of Karl Marx, but few remember his sister, Anya, who was an Olympic runner. Her name is still mentioned at the start of every race. Anya Marx. Worthy of our resident pun, uh, uh, bad joke expert. That's fine. I mean, I, I don't think that that title is lost to you now. Um... I'm just saying that was very good. That was worthy of your skill and talent. So I can start recurring expedition map. So maybe we're doing that plus casting condescend this turn. It's really slow though. Throwing down Karn again seems good until you realize that we could get invoke despaired. Probably want to just fire off this field, huh? Then, depending on what they do, I could just Academy Ruins. I probably won't get to, but... That's not a great Coffers. Is a mana neutral coffers. You got a relic. Keep going. Keep tapping. Come on. Nope. Boy, that's a lot of. Remand is the perfect draw here. So now I get to play Karn and protect it with a remand? Hell yes. Before Bloodshifters? I mean, I have a remand. Go wishing. Uh, 
It's got to be coding, right? It's just useless if they kill my car. And let's get the stone brain. <clears throat> Okay, that's not an Urborg. That's not even a swamp. Uh huh. Five mana. Show me that car and baby. Or invoke despair, I guess. Oh, right. I knew they had that. I guess I could have let that resolve, huh? But it would probably would have taken one of my Tron lands. That's fine. Huh. Well, now... Can Stonebrain to clear their hand? Or to check their hand? And see what I should be carning? I, I'm very tempted to Stonebrain Urborgs, but they already have enough mana. They have five, so they can invoke despair if I liquid metal coating. Stone rain the card that exiles your library stuff. I don't. And if I get beat up by invoke despair immediately, I'm going to be upsetty. But I think I got to go this way. Shoot. Well. Yeah. Sucks to be me. So I want to get something that's useful even when Karn dies, and that card is... I'm one land off of getting Sundering Titan down, so I guess it's that. Get this map, but I want the Titan. Okay. Thanks. What is this going for? Sundering Titan, I guess? Wait, but... Oh, now I can condescend them. But they're going to see my hand. They named condescend with the necromentia. Insanity. You're a crazy person. You're a crazy person. So... I'm going to repeal this zombie. To draw another card. Okay, and that's the land that I need. I mean, it made sense from their perspective, I guess. Like, I, I can see why they made the play they did. And they have another Invoke Despair, so... This game's about to get weird. Yeah, it seems just very favored for them. What? I'm out of islands? Oh, that sucks. There's six in this deck and somehow... I think there's six. Maybe it's five. 
That's really unfortunate. Yeah. I just Invoke Despair really put them over the edge for this matchup. Yeah, I mean... I could draw another Karn, and then if they... I don't know. If I draw another Karn right now, we get Liquid Metal Coating, shut off their coffers. I don't know that they have anything in hand. So Karn... Okay. That... That did a lot immediately. Upkeep? Oh, they're going to have the march, aren't they? <laughs> so we could draw another Karn, and then I get to blow up the coffers. Of course. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Finally found the Erborg. Oh, man, if I rip a Karn off of this, it's going to be... No. I'm not dead yet. A horse kicked me once. It hurt. Oh, uh, what a great game. I don't have any more islands, but I, I can still just draw into Karn. Until they play something that actually kills me. Here's where they shadow doubt me. Come on. Yeah. Uh yeah, I was thinking about it. Ten arms MTG. I, I just I, I just don't. I'm on like less than two minutes on clock, so yes, there is, but at the same time, I don't think it matters. Like, I, I just feel like we'll get to it when we get to it, or... Yeah. Like, yes, 100%, but then also, I'm never assembling Tron at any reasonable time. It's very difficult for me to imagine getting back into eight lands. But I could. I'm not saying it won't happen. Do you have anything you set your mind to? Well, not quite. They just keep drawing these fields, and it's it's so tough. Another invoked spare. Sacrifice an enchantment. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, let's draw a card right now. Uh, I mean... I'm off it. Let's just go next. That's really unfortunate. That's that's a that seems like a bad matchup. Not it's not horrible, but and then the first round was against that weird green white deck that just sort of aggroed us out <laughs> without doing any combo nonsense. They just had a very redundant draw. Yeah, running into eight field with this is not not great. There's five islands here. Still, that was that was unfortunate. One of them just ended up in the graveyard early.
been doing a lot of losing this week. Yeah, the Flame of Arnor. It's, uh... Oh, Anor. Huh. Uh, yeah, it's, it seems very sweet. I don't know if it's actually good, but it's cool. I want to play it with, um... Snapcaster Mage and, and uh, Nimble Obstructionist. Uh, seems not the best. I think it is Minion Maniac. I don't think you can have that. I just don't. Three power plants, but a mine. They called it a mine. A mine! Yeah, it, it is more of a charm than a command. Instant speed divination ain't bad. That's like one of the things that made... Uh-oh. Uh, Archmage's charm playable, right? But the thing is, when you do get two modes, it's pretty stacked. Um, I wonder if there's a... Oh, I I understand it's not a counter spell, and that's a big deal. It is, but the thing is, if it was a counter spell and you could two mode it, that's insanity. That would have been way too goddamn good, right? I think. So let's start playing Tron pieces because they saw a Cityscape Leveler on top of my deck, um, which means they may play as if we're on Green Tron when we're on Blue Tron, which might put them. In a silly spot. Okay. One damage ledger shredder. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. No further threats. Okay. Are we just like gonna casually run out a turn four cityscape leveler? That would be fun. Okay. They're definitely going to play a second spell, right? And then, oh, Island in Exile after they made their land drop. Oops. Uh, I hate Expressive Iteration so much. It's a garbage card. Card is garbage, chat. It's awful. It's the worst. Remove. Get your hands. 
Oh, that's really good for me. Potentially. Tron. Uh, that'll do. Ha! Ha! Oh, oh, man. Have you ever seen someone who's so dead in your life? Good gravy. That was not fair. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh. Uh. <laughs> It was kind of tempting to play the chalice on zero, I guess, because right now, if they have an underworld breach, they can get a pretty good amount of value off of it. Um, is this an X spell that they're playing? Okay, yeah, it is. That that's that's not gonna be me. That looks like a power stone. Anyone else? Did anyone else have that cartoon? Hmm. Power Stone. I think that's all it was called. Pretty sure. Okay. Piece of the Power Glove. Yeah. Could be. Okay. So Relic seems good. Worm Coil seems fine. Uh. Probably want that to stay right where it is. On the draw, I don't need the second chalice. Hearthstone is a Dreamcast fighting game and it ruled. Yeah, there was one. Hold on. Thanks for the follow, C Seraphim. Oh, Mind Slaver. Yep. <laughs> this used to be on Fox. Did we go 61? That's on me. Used to be on Fox on weekends. Weekend Saturday morning cartoons. There it is. What a what a phenomenal theme. Uh monkey time. Okay, let's draw Dismember. Let's draw Urza's power plant. The one the one Tron land I didn't need, huh? Alright. Thanks, Deck. You always got my back.
Yep. Okay, so they saw that mine. And then we've got a power plant coming up. I suppose... Walking Ballista is probably the play here. They need specifically Counterspell to beat it. All right. There's no way they play Spell Snare. Shit. Yep. Maybe I was supposed to do back-to-back -back removal. Go. Yeah, I was. A repeal on the monkey when they attack and then play the Ballista if they. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, it almost definitely is not going to be a, a deal breaker. Woof. No flip. No flip. I didn't flip yet. They love to play their land and then expressive iteration, don't they? It's it's very consistent. Tower. I mean, it's kind. Of, it's like half a tower. Oh. That's a problem. But it's not a problem problem. Uh, I hate that they have this treasure. Like, it's so brutal. Hmm. Oh, well. They don't have an island? Sure. I am dying, though. But uh, I do have ballistas and E's to draw into, and a relic, and a Karn. So Karn gets me EE -E. next turn. That cleans all this up. Make the map a 1-1. One -one. Uh, that's really bad against Unholy Heat, though. Right? Like, that's a disaster. Or, or Bolt, even. I think I just play Karn as a four mana wish that's going to gain me three life. Spike Field has? I mean, it could happen. I'm not, I'm not counting it out. They're not playing Force Negation, are they? I was like, oh. You scared me there, opponent. Yeah, perfect. So next turn we go crack the map. And then EE on one and then. They didn't tap their mountain. They tapped their mountain. Interesting choice. And in theory, they drew the Unholy Heat for turn because they didn't do it on upkeep. There's the blue. Flipped over our Worm Coil. I don't mind that. I'm okay to draw an island, so let's go to the draw. Cool. Spell pierce this, which means I'm going to go to five. All right, could go to two. Yeah, this is a problem. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. I just have to go to two here and hope they don't have a bolt. If I want to cycle this remand, I can. I don't think it's worth it. I think we just pay. I hate this 
freaking monkey making them treasures over and over again though it's so it's so brutal mm. It's just it's just so hard to play a deck that can't play like bolt or push or Wow, that's fucked up. Okay. I I this this might be the the other most offensive thing about Ragavan is when it does stuff like that. It's just not not okay. Not not an okay Magic the Gathering card. It's fine. I'm not actually that upset about it. Oh, really, Messi Benditos? I'm glad to hear that. My runs were not quite as good when I tried uh, tried running it back, so I'm glad to hear that it had some success for somebody. I suppose yeah, that's that's definitely true, Muffins. It's also it also enables turn two blood moons, right? Which is another Well, I don't think I don't think you mulligan this hand. Oh, they pass? God, that's so good. This is getting me an island, strangely enough. So if I try to get Tron and they just have a Blood Moon, then I'm... in trubs. <clears throat> I don't need to play the map this turn, so let's just hang out with this condescend. I don't know how I would have to condescend for two, but also it just doesn't feel like I have to go down that road where I just end up in a bad place. At this point, if they Blood Moon, like, I just have enough mana to kind of play through. <laughs> okay.
Don't flip. Don't flip. Merc tied into exile. They're going to tap down for this. And then we can blista this if we want. Oh, I tapped my field. That's what I shouldn't have done. Do I want to chalice them here? I think so. I'm assuming it shuts down like a pretty goofy amount of their. Okay. Okay. I mean. I mean, so what I was going to do there is go transmute and get Chalice and play Chalice on one. Um, which shuts down a lot of their deck. And, like, they're pretty far behind. But then it does shut down some of my deck. Not keeping that. That's a good hand. I think I'm shipping the ballista. Could have been the field, but I don't know. I feel like there's a bunch of decks where you want a field. I guess Ballista is theoretically a Tron payoff, but against most decks, it's not really good enough. Forest means... Omelette? Can't be Yawgmoth. I mean, they mulled to six, but... It can't be Yawgmoth, right? Oh, it's Yawgmoth, okay. Well. Slow him down. Greased. Okay. Mm. 
Gets me Ballista. Ballista comes in on two. You know what? No, that's not good enough, is it? Do you want to repeal Gris here? Repealing Grist means they just have to like spend most of their next turn re recasting it if they if that's what they want. And I still have Dismember up. I just don't think the Trigon Mage does anything big for me here at the moment. Just jam Yogmoth. What have you got to lose? Oh, wow. Okay. So, Trickit Mage can get me um, Relic. Which is kind of nice here. It's not curbing the crystal shards. I think this is the I think this is the one for SNES. Which I think was a collection of uh ones that were for I it's um Kirby All Stars. Pretty sure that's Oh no, maybe that's Crystal Shards. No, you're right. It's Crystal Shards. It's Crystal Shards. Yeah, I know. I know. Crystal Stars was sixty four. I I was just. It was just not the game I thought it was. Okay. Now you know. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Really. And what, pray tell, are you sacrificing? Token. Okay. No, that's, that's fine. I just... It just doesn't seem like a... It doesn't feel like they're moving the ball, you know? It's like, uh, okay... So kill that. Search. Oh, I kind of want Odawara here as a spell. It seems like the best spell land I could have at the moment. Oof. Okay. Oh, I could have tapped for black and taken less damage there.
Go for Ballista here. Yeah. This is a nice, chunky ballista, isn't it? Nice ballista. Boop. Boop. All right. Good old Chris. Good old Chris. Also, thanks to their lands, we can engineer explosives on three if we need to. Which is... Wild. Game has ended. All right. Fair enough. So Mindslaver is really good here. No, I want to leave the E for drawing purposes. Well, I guess we just, I guess we can't keep the main deck. I mean, there's not really, I guess a relic is better than one of the boom booms. Boom booms. It's probably better than Shark Typhoon. Yeah. Huh. Uh, yeah. It's like the gemstone caverns in this hand is the Connus end. This is like potentially like turn three, quote unquote, Tron uh, with Cityscape Leveler to follow it up. Whoa. Oh, yeah. We, we, okay. Just, just, just like I drew it up. Remember, play Tron and be lucky, and you will. No way! What are you doing? All right, that's that's fair. That's that's fair. <laughs> See, nothing's better than Shark Typhoon. Wapo agrees. I wanted to play some Wapo Blue White, but that was another deck that I didn't feel up to. I'll be right back. Yeah, that's uh, that's the exact build I was thinking of playing. Oh, that's not what I meant to click on. There it is. Because there was a post, uh, there was a post in um, in the modern Reddit that was like, "Hey, whatever happened to blue white control? Like, well, why isn't it doing stuff?" And then I looked at the challenges, and it is. So it's like, uh, nothing. Still, still hanging out. Alright. Mm. Is this I think this is close enough we bottom the mind slaver on the draw as a six. I think I'm okay with this. It's definitely sketchy, but like we're insulated from monkey. this this is a chiptune version of i got rhythm 
do 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 I've got my man who could ask for anything more. All right. Found the blue, didn't we? The, I'm going to guess this is a black-white Stoneforge kind of thing. I guess they're a Saga deck. Could be. I'm going to go with, like, black-white taxes kind of nonsense. I think it's elves. Black white elves could be, could be. Love a little bit of black white elves. I've seen it floating around on Twitter. I saw uh, Young Dingo playing the Is It Scam deck. Uh, I I'm not a person who's really played much of any kind of scam deck or sewer deck, so it's not something that interests me in any way. But uh. I think I can take this. Just worried about the next threat being worse. Don't need this in this matchup. Hmm. So Trinket Mage can get me an Expedition map. I'm assuming their hand is like entirely filled with... Uh, creature kill what i'm really worried about here is like just straight up vindicate hopefully what they do here is play it and we get to condescend oh maybe they're gonna play like shieldred in modern grief what's up it's not a shieldred I thought you were going to be cool, opponent. That is, it is black white. It's uh, sewer. I believe it was the old, old name for that. Uh, yeah, I like a land on top, like like a bit of land, you know. Play trinket mage, helm of obedience. What what are we? What is that a thing? Or are we having a serious conversation about not in modern? Oh, you're talking about like Leyline Helm? Yeah, I know. I know what you're talking about. I'm going to kill this now. I'm still worried about like Shieldred, but like, I guess I should be even more worried about them grabbing my Karn. Yeah. I should, mm, mm. I should have killed the Voidwalker there before I let them untap. Yeah. Okay. Because they could have Ephemerate or. Okay, I'm gonna take the hit here. Don't scam me. Cool. Any yeah, relic here? Kind of want to. I won't be able to activate it though, so I guess that doesn't make sense. I 
I mean, if they had a Vindicate, they would have played it by now, right? So operating on the assumption that they don't have that. The thing about grabbing Sundering Titan here is if we get Cityscape Leveler, I don't know. It's tough. Ultimately, I don't think it's going to matter too much. All right, fine. What are they going to do? Remove it? I just... If they take me off Tron, they're not killing my car, and so I can wish for something else useful. All right, they, they're just taking a draw step. So their hand was probably like solitudes and fatal pushes. I guess I'm on the draw here. But I'd rather have spreading seas than repeal, right? Because repeal I'm trying to repeal a grief or a It's just not going to work very well. Probably wants a second relic. 